Hello everyone. My name is Alberto Molina Martinez and this is my open letter to the world. August 15, 2019. Dear brothers and sisters, as it is known to all of you, planet Earth is at the verge of a climate crisis with no precedent in human history. The reports of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change are very clear about the consequences of our inaction. And even so, greenhouse gases continue to increase year after year as if nothing was happening. Why is that? The real reason is that we have not yet found a source of energy that can compete in costs and efficiency with fossil fuels, and even less in the magnitude that the problem requires. However, there is a possible solution, a true and elegant solution. In 2004, more than 14 years ago, I personally proposed a solution that not only is still valid, but possibly the only way out of the situation, if developed. I called it then the antimatter electrical generator, but a more appropriate name would be self-sustained disintegration of matter as I call it now. Matter-antimatter reactions are the most powerful source of energy known to mankind. If only we could have access to it, since they convert 100% of the mass into pure energy, according to Einstein's formula, E equals mc squared. But first, we must understand and demystify the concept of antimatter. And second, find a way to produce it in sufficient quantities to be used as a source of energy. In a self-published article of September 4, 2012, I reported what could be an extraordinary finding in physics. Antimatter did not disappear after the Big Bang, as science believes today. It did not go anywhere. Antimatter is actually an intrinsic component of all the matter in the universe. I have since collected evidence after evidence of this new reality which I will explain in detail in another document. I understand that the term antimatter sounds like a very dangerous thing, and yet it constitutes 50% of every particle of matter in existence, including our own physical bodies. Yes, we are made of 50% antimatter particles, and even then, we do not explode. How can this be possible? When matter and antimatter react, 100% of the mass is converted into pure energy, but it does not stay that way. A good portion of this energy recombines immediately to form particles of ordinary matter, where antimatter constitutes 50% of it, and the rest is dissipated in the form of light. This is how the universe was formed in the first place. The physical universe that we observe today is the remnant of the great recombination, and the rest is the background radiation that we can still observe today.
Now, how to harness the potential of matter-antimatter reactions safely for energy production? The key lies in the gradual and self-sustained dissociation of some particular types of matter into their primary components, matter and antimatter, separating them and then letting them reunify gradually in a totally controlled manner. Such a system could generate power without limits, without contamination of any kind, being at the same time much more economical, practical and efficient than any other source of energy known to mankind. I regret to disagree diametrically with established physics, with the great laboratories such as CERN or the most prestigious universities in the world. Not only antimatter is an intrinsic component of ordinary matter, but it is also perfectly possible to use it as a source of energy. All I ask is that you give me the opportunity to prove or disprove my theories. If they were correct, and it is possible that they are, they could bring immense prosperity and well-being to all of humanity for many generations to come, while at the same time saving us from the worst consequences of climate change in a reasonable period of time. What is required to develop this work is something really insignificant. If you compare it with what today is invested in technologies of much lesser scope, the figures can be seen in my website, which address you will find at the end. I am open to the cooperation of anyone interested in saving the planet, potential investors, philanthropists, research centers, universities, or any well-intentioned government from any part of the world. The work will be developed under the Molina Institute for Photon Physics Research, a non-profit organization which I founded in 2012 for the specific development of this technology. Finally, I want to say that no industry or person in the world should feel threatened by this new technology. My invitation is open to all humanity. Together, we can save the planet, ourselves, and many generations to come. If you can collaborate in any capacity, please contact me now. Time is over. With my best wishes to all, Alberto Molina Martinez. May God bless you all.